all of us are familiar with the new york heart association nyha functional classification but it is not applicable to most of the pediatric population ross rd at all try to determine which variables most accurately define congestive heart failure in infants 41 patients with median age of 2.5 months were graded by four pediatric cardiologists for the presence and severity of congestive heart failure based on several parameters the parameters evaluated were amount of formula consumed per feeding feeding time history of diaphoresis or tachypnea growth parameters respiratory and heart rates respiratory pattern perfusion presence of edema diastolic filling sounds and hepatomegaly in that study 19 patients were graded as having no congestive heart failure nine as mild seven as moderate and six as severe congestive heart failure this seminal work led to the ross classification for heart failure in infants later the classification was modified to include all children the modified ross heart failure classification for children is widely cited and is as follows class 1 asymptomatic class 2 mild tachypnea or diaphoresis with feeding in infants dyspnea on exertion in older children class 3 marked tachypnea or diaphoresis with feeding in infants and prolonged feeding times with growth failure marked dyspnea on exertion in older children class 4 tachypnea retractions grunting or diaphoresis at rest in general it can be seen that it corresponds to the nyha functional classification with addition of features specific for infants in 2012 ross rd reviewed the classification and suggested an age stratified scoring system in that article it was mentioned that several modifications for the initial system have been used and others proposed grading of signs and symptoms in children is dependent on age because infants manifest heart failure differently than toddlers and older children it was also noted that in addition to signs and symptoms data from echocardiography exercise testing and biomarkers like n terminal pro brain natriuretic peptide nt pro bnp are useful in stratifying outcomes in children with heart failure here are the relevant journal references thank you for watching this video please subscribe like share and post your valuable comment below this video